Hello everyone to another Catan video here on colonist.io and today I am playing a casual game uh, on this uh, gear map. I think it's been quite some time since I played a game on the gear map. So let's hope to have some fun here. I am in the fourth position. So I have some time to analyze the board. I noticed that there is quite a lot of ore available, especially on the right side. And there is a quite a lot of brick available on the left side. So it's a little uneven in that way. Also, all the wood is on the right side. So it, here, maybe some, someone can easily go for uh, 563. And so I might not get that spot. I believe I might have to go for something like. Um, Maybe six, four, ten, and uh, maybe six, five, ten. Play with the brick port and the actually there is brick port on both both those positions. And uh, yeah, so maybe play with the brick port and the sheep port. The other option is. 834 but then I don't like the production too much like apart from 8 wheat I don't get a lot of okay so red goes there here if I can get uh, 653 I will surely go for that spot so as I said I will surely go for 653 and then it is very difficult for me to pair it up with anything nice though I still like 6-4-10 but then I will have a very difficult game early on because I don't have a lot of uh, production. Yeah, because I don't have any good wood production spots. So how do I make much progress in this game in that case? Maybe point my road to the right and build on 6-4. That would increase my sheep production. I can also go for something like 5-10. Or maybe 8-10-12. But then I have very little sheep and brick. So yeah, it's a very difficult choice. Maybe I should just go for production over... Yeah, I can just go for production here. Something like uh, 6 by 3 and uh, 5, 10, 12. But even that is not very strong production. Yeah, I think actually just going for... Yeah, I will just go for 6, 4, 10 and uh, 6, 5, 3. Here I think pointing... Maybe pointing towards a 3 to 1 port is fine, but actually I would actually want to try and build on 5 9. Yeah, orange is a little impatient here, but then I mean it's a difficult choice for me. So orange can go for 8 3 4. Actually, orange goes for brick port, which May work in his favor because he will be able to get a settlement on 8 3, 3 4, maybe 6 11, but then he needs a lot of brick because he only produces brick and sheep and very little wood. And for him, his expansion spots are also dependent on those resources. For me, I would want to get an early city for sure. Yeah, and actually, I think Blue here can have a pretty good setup with getting a very strong ore spot. I'm just searching where the wheat port is. I don't see a wheat port. Oh, wheat port is over here. So actually, he can just get a settlement on 8-3 and have a very strong game. The, so the wheat ports are on the, in, on the inside uh, circle. 
of the gear. Yeah, I think here he can just go for a3. Yeah, he does go for a3 there. So now I need only a 6 or a 3. 6 would be the ideal case scenario because that gives me a break along with okay, orange rolls a 7, orange might want to target okay, doesn't target anyone oh yeah, so the friendly robber is active and I think that's the reason why orange couldn't do anything so yeah, because of that I think just uh, I'll end my turn, maybe getting a city early on might not be the best choice in that case in. So now, rather than getting a city, I would actually want to build a road towards 9-10 first. Yeah, I think at this point I will just go for... Let me try and get a trade. But my still my option is to just get a 4 is to 1. <clears throat> yeah, and just build a road towards 910. That would increase my sheep production, which will, like, once I get a settlement, it would increase my sheep production, which will help me get dev cards more easily. Yeah, I think. Because of this friendly robber, nobody would want to get a settlement very quickly. Here Orange has some disconnectivity issues, but maybe Orange just quit the game there. I wouldn't be surprised because he was being a little impatient early on in the game as well. Yeah, so now Red is going to be targeted quite a bit because he's the only one who has a settlement. His ore production is quite strong, so getting a settlement on the ore port was a good choice for him. Maybe even I can get a city before I can, I mean, before converting or doing all forest to ones to get a settlement. That is surely a choice that I have. Not sure what Red is doing here. I don't think he can do anything, so I'm not sure why we are waiting. Okay, he just does build a road. So I think he was just considering where he wanted to build a road and gets a dev card as well. So yeah, that's the first six of the game giving me break. Now I think just blocking, I think blocking wood is more important. I do get a ore, but um, here I think maybe I'll just try and get a dev card. Uh, let me see what the discard limit is. I'm not quite sure. The discard limit is 7. So maybe I'll just get a city. Although I said I wouldn't do that because of the friendly robber, but I think it's fine. Your yeah, red can surely play a knight, uh, block me on the 5v. Maybe I'm not sure where red would want to block me. Maybe the 6 or. Yeah, so the game here is a little slow. Yeah, so Blue targets me, steals my break away. I'm a little surprised that he's building towards the 10-3 and not on 5-4. Increasing his ore production, sorry, wheat production is very, is a very good choice for um, blue but he doesn't go for that option here yeah 
Yeah, so it seems like Orange has disconnected here completely. Yeah, so the bot rolls a 7, bot does target me, which is a little unfortunate. And I do roll a 6 at that very moment. So, yeah, so now blue gets a city. And with a port, I think blue is in a... Blue is much uh, stronger than both red and me at this point. I am not too concerned about orange because orange is being played by a bot. Another 3. So I just need a single 6 or a 3 and I will have get my settlement. I do get a 6 here. So I will try and offer a trade. Let's see if anybody wants it. Or else I think my only option is to do a couple of 4 is to 1s and get a settlement and end my turn. So now 9s are very important for me, giving me sheep. That said, I mean 6 is still much stronger for me. Blue would want to block the 9 wheat, I believe. Okay, Blue continues to block the 6 ore. And yeah, I mean, these sixes are rolling quite frequently, but me losing out on those cards is not good for me at all. Like everyone else is making quick progress with dev cards, whereas I do feel a little stuck here in this game. Yeah, so again, losing out on a couple of fours. So, I think my next target would be to get a settlement on 6-4. Yeah, because that would increase my sheep production and give me a 3 to 1 port, which I desperately need at this point with all the ore and wheat production that I have. I wouldn't mind a 5 and a 3 being rolled. That would give me another city. A 9 is rolled. And here I think I will just target blue. I mean I do need a wheat. So blue would be a good target here. I get a sheep. Uh, so not something that I am looking for, but at this point, I think I'll just convert my sheep into a wood and build a road towards the 6-4 tile and end my turn. If blue has a knight, he can play it. Yeah, it does block me and roll the 7. So yeah, now we'll block the 6 brick. Okay, blocks red. But red can immediately play a knight if he has it. Yeah, does play the knight. Continues to target blue. I don't mind that at all. Here, a six would be an excellent role for me. I wouldn't mind threes either. Uh, six does roll, so I think I'll just get a second city and end my turn. 
So although I am very dependent on Sixers rolling, they have been rolling quite a bit. Uh, although I have been targeted, but at this point I am not in a too bad a situation. Four rolls here. So at the very least, I will be able to build another road. Unless red plays a monopoly here, I don't think red would do that. Yeah, red just goes for a yeah, 10 rolls, pretty strong roll for me, giving me three wheats. Another four rolls here, so here I think I'll just go for another four is to one, get a road towards the six four tile, and at this point I think getting a dev card is fine. I get a year of plenty, very good for me. And yeah, I mean, I am getting very lucky with these rolls. Hopefully no sevens are rolled, but uh, this is fine as well. Now red does have a pretty good wheat production, which he did not have before. Uh, after building a settlement on 5, 10, 11. And he also gets the longest road. Here, victory points needed to win is 13, so still quite a way to quite a long way to go. So I think I'll just play my year of plenty, get a wood and sheep. It those are rare resources for me. And just get my settlement. And now I think I can also try and build a couple of roads towards 3-4. That would uh, give me the access to the wheat port. And my wheat production is also pretty decent. That said, at this point in time, I think just getting another dev card is completely fine. I hope it's not a night. I do get another year of plenty. That's very good for me. Exactly the card that I needed, I would say. Unfortunately, here rolls a couple of sevens. Okay. Plays a robber and rolls a seven, but steals only one card from me. <coughs> now, sixes are all the more important. The only good thing that I would say is red is not focused on getting uh, cities. So I think that will come back to bite him later on in the game. Here I don't need to play my year of plenty just yet. So yeah, I mean blue rolls another seven or and blocks me. I think red should be considered a bigger threat. I mean, my I do have better potential than red, but uh, red is still quite far ahead. Here, I hope that I can roll a 7. I think that could be a best case scenario. Instead, I roll a 5. So, I think I will just try and get another dev card. I am basically trying to pull VPs here. I get Monopoly. Wow. Yeah, I am quite lucky in that sense. Here, surely have to keep track of all the cards that are there. Here are a few uh, tens would be very very good for me. 
nines are fine as well. So I am considering playing a monopoly on sheep. Uh, so red built a city, so he did not make use of the sheep that he received. And a ten is rolled. So yeah, here. Yeah, surely I am playing my monopoly. This is going to be the best monopoly ever because there are zero sheep with the bank. And yeah, I am able to steal 17 sheep there. Wow. Yeah, this is completely unbelievable. So, here I will build a couple of roads. And uh, I will also build a settlement on the wheat port. And then I can still build few more roads here. This would basically give me the longest road. So maybe because I don't want to show my hand just yet. Here let me try. Uh, getting a few more dev cards, but there is a very good chance I'll be getting knights, which is not something that I want. But it's completely fine. I, people will be blocking me quite a bit. Yeah, I do get two knights here, which was kind of expected. But yeah, I mean, that was one of the best monopolies ever that I could have played. Getting 17 sheeps. Yeah, I should have built a couple of roads instead of getting a couple of dev cards. Uh, but now it's just hindsight as 2020 for sure. Now my next target is surely to build a settlement on 834. And with all the ports that I have, I think it is very possible for me to do that. Here, I do have to keep in mind that Blue has four unplayed dev cards. That is a little risky. I mean, I don't have any VPs. Red doesn't have any VPs. So that is surely something that I need to consider. Yeah, I think I'll just play my knight. I don't think I'll be playing my year of plenty on this turn anyway. And... Uh, yeah, I will just target blue. I do get wheat, which is good for me. And I roll a 8, that's even better. So here I will just convert all my sheep into a couple of woods. And actually, instead of building on 834, I think just building on 9, 10, 11 is much better. Also, 9, 10, 11 is quite secured because nobody can cut me off whereas 834 if blue plays a road building or something of that sort can cut me off which would be risky blue does play a 9 which is completely all right here and rolls a 6 a little unfortunate but yeah now another 6 is rolled i'm surely not worried about uh, red because red doesn't have a monopoly have to give up on a few cards and I think just giving up on these cards is fine. Here I can get my settlement but I think just targeting a red is completely alright here. I do get a brick, not something that I wanted but I roll a 9 so I think I'll just go for another dev card. Wow! I do get another monopoly that is huge for me. And a 6 is rolled. So again I will have to start keeping a track of all the cards that are there in the game. Also I am noticing that there are very few uh, dev cards left. So that is surely something that I need to consider. 
10 is rolled. So quite a lot of sheep available with red. Let's see what uh, I wouldn't mind rolling a few threes. He does a three to one, gives away quite a lot of his sheep and gets a dev card. So that's a little unfortunate. Again, I roll a seven exactly on my turn. So I am getting a little unlucky, I would say. And here I have to give up on five cards. I will continue to target red. I get a brick. It's not exactly the card that I am looking for. But here I think I can just play my year of plenty, get a word and a sheep. And uh, that way I can get my settlement and a dev card. And I get road building. Wow. So I am getting very, very lucky. So that basically secures the longest road for me. Here, I think they will block maybe the six brick or the 10 wheat. Yeah, it does block the 10 wheat. Yeah, I don't know exactly how many dev cards are there in the game. I mean, left in the game. Yeah, so here I don't have any cards. Even if red blocks me, he still cannot steal anything from me. Yeah, I surely don't mind these seventh at this point. And I think I will just continue to target red. I get a break which doesn't uh, do much for me. But at this point, I think I will just... I have already played my year of plenty. So... I mean, sorry, my road building. I will build a couple of roads. If possible, get a settlement on 834. 9 is a pretty good roll for me now, giving me a sheep and a wheat. I have 4 settlements, so I still can get one more settlement if I need to. 5 is rolled here, so... Now, that does mean that there is some wheat in the game. Here, I wouldn't mind if a 4 is rolled. I will roll a 10 though. So, here, let me just build a road towards a 3 4. And actually, I can get my settlement without playing my Monopoly. So I think I'll just do that here. I don't think anybody else is close to winning just yet. So here I am on 12 points and 13 points are needed for a win. So all I need is to get a city and a VP or two cities. Four is rolled. That's a pretty good roll for me. And also gives me the chance to play a Monopoly on sheep again. Or maybe even wheat, I think, would be fine. If a few nines or tens roll. Uh, sorry, uh, yeah, I meant four. Yeah, nines is basically forcing me to play a sheep, Monopoly on sheep. But now, because that five roll, I think I'll just play a Monopoly on beat. And although I get only 4, which isn't huge, but I think that's enough for me to win the game. So yeah, convert all my sheep into an ore. And here I think just getting a city on 843 seems strong. And actually, I can just get a road and a settlement. So, yeah, that's just game over here. Yeah. 
here yeah i can just build a road and a settlement a very very fun game for me my dev cards were completely huge a uh, part of me winning the game although sevens did roll quite a bit and uh, but yeah eights did not roll as much as sixes fours nines fives i mean yeah everything was in my favor here there is absolutely nothing that i can complain about although i did not get any vps getting two monopolies was pretty good and uh, yeah amounts of dev cards bought seven and i made use of all of them i got two monopolies i think two year of plenty is road building and a couple of knights yeah and resource production it's huge i mean and if you see the total resource lost is almost double of anyone else and total resource score is not too far away from red but i think my resources were just too strong getting over and wheat uh and those monopolies on sheep was huge here if you see the total resources lost by rolling a 7 total resources gained by trading 27 whereas total resources lost by trading is 66 i think that is all because of the early 4 is to 1s and then 3 is to 1s and 2 is to 1s so on and so forth yeah resources by getting dev cards is huge the the last monopoly on wheat wasn't good at all uh but uh, it was just very close but then pretty good game there and feels good to win uh, uh you will see a we like couple of videos on the weekend which uh, are not too good for my or for my gameplay so yeah this is a pretty good win here anyway uh do subscribe to my channel if you want more fun videos like this uh bye for now and see you again in the next video bye bye